This is just gonna be an annoying offense. That's really the only reason I'm doing it. So there we go. Now we just gotta get outside of this. He can't go all the way. Psych. Houdini. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniff up the Mad Cheese as always. We got a fun video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over what I think are the funnest, glitchiest trick plays in the game. And these are going to be hard to stop trick plays. I've already made videos about quite a few of these uh, game plays and stuff like that. I'll have links in the description if you guys want to check out some of the gameplay videos and some of the previous videos that I put out for some of these formations. But I got a lot of new ones as well. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more trick play videos like this in the future, more, you know, fun RPOs, glitch plays, stuff like that, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button in the comment section i could always put out more other than that's going to get right into the video now the first playbook that i'm in is the new england patriots the formation is the iphone pro which is like an ancient formation but ultimately it still has one of the uh the more up-to-date trick plays in it which is going to be the halfback pass now this play here you probably want to make sure you got a running back that can actually throw a pass but to be honest with you i first put this play out a couple years ago Back then, I noticed you needed like a former quarterback that could actually throw the ball. For some reason, they kind of passed it to the point where you can pretty much have anybody run this play. So we're just going to go. We're going to leave uh, Damian Harrison. I don't even know, you know, does he have a, a background throwing the football? I have no idea. But it really doesn't matter. I think I can go with just about any one of these running backs, and they're going to have enough of an arm to have success with this play. So let's go and let's pick the halfback pass. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3. Uh, now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to support this channel and get your mutt team up at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins in the market so as far as this play goes the only real thing that i noticed when it comes to this play is you really have to make sure you have outside containment with that tight end on whatever defensive end whatever outside linebacker is there if you don't have outside containment a lot of times you'll run right into somebody so if there's like a blitzing safety or something you can't run this play but other than that i mean it's really just about running it to the outside or throwing it to that crossing route the x route which is a really good route by the way the crossing route typically will get open against any man or zone coverage uh, which makes this a very easy one to read but if you want to give yourself a third read the B route here you can do whatever you want you can put them on a slang you can put them on an in route you can put them on a comeback route I think a comeback route is probably the best because it's right in front of you and then that's pretty much all you got to do I'm going to run this ball if you're going to throw this ball you have to make sure that you stop and plant your feet with a running back you cannot throw it on the run unless you have I don't even know what running back in the league is a former quarterback to the point where you can really uh, you know just risk it uh, you can motion this guy in a little bit to get him across the, the formation a little quicker too which i think is a pretty good idea but ultimately this is the play like i said you can either run it which a lot of times if i have enough speed like there i just i tried to throw it in the field i'm thinking maybe i can get a one play touchdown out of this but ultimately uh you can see how typically all the linebackers just come crashing right at you as a running option so that really clears the center of the field and that's pretty much going to be the same way but here's what i was talking about you got to make sure you got that outside containment because if there's some linebacker safety that goes unblocked there it's best just to throw the ball away out. You're basically just running into trouble. So my full setup would probably be to motion this guy in, put the B route in the comeback. That just gives me a nice little check down. And then that's pretty much Where all you go? wrote. Like I said, if this guy here, really, he, he dropped back to cover the, the, the crossing route. You know what I mean? I'm watching that guy right in front of me. He dropped back, so I just take the easy run. That's the thing about these type of plays. I mean, this is essentially like an RPO, except you're doing with a running back. And if you have a really fast running back, it can be a real problem. So here we go one more time. Like I said, I'm just going to watch what this guy does. He's dropping back to cover. He's basically just letting me run for 10 to 12 yards so if if he doesn't commit to me i'm going to take that if he does commit to me then i got my option when it comes to uh throwing it to this uh this receiver here like i said it's a really hard play to stop if you perfect this play so here we go one more time like i said we can do any number of things the only thing is i really don't like throwing the ball on the run although i did it there and i got away with it a lot of times you won't so be careful about that now the next play is a play that can be found in the patriots once again or even the ravens which is what i typically use it in the formation is the pistol weak and the play itself is the pa comebacks now the only thing you're going to want to do 
right here is you're going to want to make sure that you have your fastest or best receiving back at the fullback spot because that's going to be where the ball is going most of the time. This play here, I'm just going to give myself a drag for a check down. That's pretty much the only adjustment I'm going to make once again. All the routes on the field here beat man except for the Y route, which is really what I'm going for. Now, ultimately, to make this play a trick play is you just have to basically cancel the play action and then flip the ball out by hitting the Y or triangle button uh, basically before he goes out in a pattern. If you can see, I mean, we're basically, we got a check and release here. This looks like a man blitz. I'm probably not going to throw to that Y route, but we have a check and release here, which means he's not guaranteed to go out on a route. But if you get this ball out, which you can see right there, he, once again, he's on that, uh, it's a man coverage, so I can take any of these other routes. Uh, I could have probably got to the check and release too, to be honest with you, but if it's a man coverage, it's safe to take one of these other routes. If it's a zone coverage, you pretty much want to go check and release. All I'm really doing to get that pitch animation is canceling the play action and then pitching it before my quarterback gets a chance to get set. And it really has a lot of benefits. Number one, like I said, this looks really cool. Uh, but number two is it's something that uh, you can really get an acceleration boost when it comes to pitching it rather than throwing it. Like I said, throwing it there, you can see I got nothing. I got stuffed right at the 50, which is where I'm starting at. But for some reason, when you do it with the pitch, you just get a really good speed boost. He doesn't slow down. You can see we just get a very easy catch and run. They typically get a little bit of an acceleration boost, and it usually helps you to get more yards. Now, both of those plays were in the Patriots, but one of them was also in the Ravens. So we're going to go to the Ravens playbook next. Number one, I'm going to show you one of the best running plays when it comes to a quarterback run in the game, in my opinion, and that's out of the Gun Split Twins. Now, the Split Twins was also known as the Heisman last year. They changed the name, and they added a lot more plays. Some of them are super glitchy. Now, I could have easily went with the shovel option, which is a very good play, but I really feel like the best run play in this formation is the power read. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pick random 4-3 one more time. Now what makes this play so good is, number one, you can't really hand it to the running back. That's part of the, the play art, but I've never found success handing it to the running back. I mean, it's typically just a loss. The best way to run this play is to keep it with the quarterback pretty much every single time. And to go one step further, I want to do absolutely nothing until the uh, until it's basically Fight. forced on my quarterback. And you can see, there's just run lanes for days if you just basically let the play set up on its own. Go to the replay real quick, and let's just watch how this blocking sets up. Number one, like I said, the run play, if I hand it off, it pretty much gets shut down every time. But that's a good thing. I'm going to use that against itself and let this running back get tackled and essentially become a lead blocker. And you can see the second I do that, look at all this space. Everybody's washed away, and I've got nothing but 10 to 15 yards of green grass in front of me. I think the best way to defend this is blitz it heavy, but for the most part, do nothing. Because you see, when you hand the ball off, it pretty much gets caught every single time. Use that against itself. Do nothing. Hold on to the ball. And then you can see how, you know, as long as I get acceleration, there was nothing there. I got caught from behind. Let's go and let's do this one more time. Because I'd like to get a big run. You can see right here, the blocking just sets up perfectly once again. And we have a very big play this time as Lamar Jackson almost got a touchdown. We'll call that a touchdown. We we're a couple of yards short. But you can see, very explosive run play. The blocking is insane on this play. Next up out of the Bills offensive playbook, we have a play that I made a whole gameplay about. I'll have a link in the description for that gameplay. I know that video was popular because I see this play online all the time. And I regret putting that play out. The formation is the pistol open flex close. And the play itself is going to be the RPO reflat wheel. Now, I want to make sure I have my fastest guy running this, which I think is McKenzie. So we'll go ahead and pick that. Now, this play really only has one or two options. The first option is always going to be the B route. He goes in a motion across. If it's a man coverage, like this guy <laughs> follows, although he tripped up. Uh, it might have been a man coverage. I'm not really sure because he it looks like he got tripped up coming across the formation. You can see how even if it's a man coverage, you can get a really big play. You're really just watching that. There are other options, but this play is so glitchy. If you don't throw the ball fast enough, a lot of times... Uh, you won't you'll get a penalty. The only other option that I found that you can get the ball off quick enough to is the tight end, which typically only works against cover three and cover four. So those are your two passing options, but you also have the option to hand the ball off, which isn't necessarily the best option, but it's a good play because it goes in the opposite direction. Even though the play diagram doesn't necessarily spell it out too well, handing the ball off is actually a pretty good option. So like I said, I'm watching this receiver. You can see right here, he gets open immediately. We can just take that. If we have enough speed, a lot of times we can get going. Now, if you get a man coverage, you'll know that based on the fact that somebody will follow the B route typically, which this here looks like it is. Spike. A lot of times you can just hold on over with the quarterback and get a very good run play that way because nobody mans the running back. That's the whole reason that that works so well against man is because there's typically not somebody covering or signed to the quarterback when it comes to man coverage. So here we go once again. Like I said, that looks like a cover three. He's open in the flat. Probably going to try to make that guy 
that makes him make a bigger play. But you can see, against any zone coverage, that play's going to be a big play. The next play is out of the Arizona Cardinals, which is another playbook that's known for being super glitchy and, and pretty much just having a lot of trick plays and RPO plays. Very good play I'm going to show you here out of the gun open flex. The play itself is going to be the RPO read wide flat. You have three options here, uh, and it's a really good play. It's actually four options, but you can take off with the quarterback too. So let's go and let's pick that. Now, for my money, I pretty much just want to get this out to the tight end every single time. But if it's a man coverage, typically that's going to be the only time you're going to want to throw it to the slant. So it's a really easy read. Right side's zone, left side's man, and uh, you can also hand it off to the running back if you think you have a, a lane pre-snap. So you really have a lot of options. I think you can hold it with Kyler Murray too and run with the quarterback uh, if I remember correctly, uh, which I'm not really sure if I'll do too much. But you can see you could also do that going in the opposite direction. So if you do that, though, you're probably going to want to slide because a lot of times quarterbacks fumble. But ultimately, you have four options here and they all go in different directions like i said to me it's really best to take it to this to this tight end though it's all about the tight end to me that was a man coverage but you can see he still outpaced it uh and then like i said just like in the previous rpo to the bills um if it's a man coverage you can just basically keep it pull back and take off and have a lot of success there uh which this is this is one of my more favorite rpo plays to run the great thing about this play is you can really make quick decisions i mean i can see right away this the x route's going to be wide open uh if it's a zone coverage i can tell that the tight end's going to be open all you just need to do is get that block and like i said we're just heading up the sideline it's quick decisions on pass and run plays i can shoot it out to the left quick i can shoot it out to the right quick or i can basically just take my options when it comes to running as you can see right here there's a lot of really good run lanes uh whether you want to take it left with the running back or right with the quarterback so it's just something that your opponent's never gonna have any idea how to defend so i'm gonna go end the video there if you guys want to see more trick plays like this i hit the like button let me know in the comment section and i'll do that other than that thanks for watching man my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.